For October's Faculty Spotlight, we're sitting down with Miss Lou, a French teacher here at Viking Nation. Like many other teachers here at the Hills, becoming an educator wasn't actually her original plan. I feel like when I was little, it was like one of the possibilities that I wanted to do, but I didn't go to school for education. I ended up going to school for political science and French. And then like, I don't know what I wanted to do with my life. So I ended up working, I was recruited actually by a, an agency because of my French speaking abilities to work for a French wine importing company in New York City. And that was really fun because it, it showed me like the whole world of, you know, corporate and everything. And then I decided it wasn't really for me and I went back to school to get my master's in education. Her choice to study the French language started as an act of rebellion in her early school years. So in middle school, we were allowed to choose from French or Spanish and everyone else was taking Spanish and I felt like standing out, so I chose French. Also, I'm very into the arts and French is, the language is much more tied to the arts, like the fine arts, music, and dance especially. So that's why I chose it, because I thought it'd be more relevant in my life and I didn't want to be like everyone else. Miss Lou's relationship with the fine arts started at a young age and she continues to explore the field today. Her love of music is where that journey began. I started playing piano when I was about five. I feel like I've always been a musician, and so that's just always been part of my life. I, I don't really know what life is like without music. I added flute when I was in fourth grade, viola also in fourth grade. I sang in all the choirs at school. In college, I played with the, the college orchestra, not the, not the music majors one, but like the for fun one. And then I took a few years off to teach. You know, it's a very busy career. You don't always have that much spare time. But then I found a community group that I played with about three or four years after that. She eventually made the transition from music to photography and flower growing, two fields of creativity that she explores to this day. So I always joke that all of my hobbies are, you know, our uniforms are all black. So I did a lot of photography because I love traveling and I was like, what better way to capture my memories than photography? And then I've actually done a few shoots for people, Sweet Sixteens, Quinceañera, things like that. It's something that you can always pick up too. It's very easy. You know, you don't have to have a ton of equipment. You can even just do it with your cell phone. So I still use it a lot because now I grow flowers professionally <laughs> outside of school. And that's been, I think, life changing. It teaches you that you have absolutely no control and you just have to go with it. You know, I can make the plan for what I'm going to grow next spring, but if we have a really warm spring, which we have, or it's really cold, or we have a lot of big temperature swings, well, my plants aren't gonna be happy, so I have to adapt to everything. And it, it forces you to really sit down and think, like, what are their priorities, right? I don't have unlimited space. Nobody does, or limited money. So you really have to think about and um, like strategize and really sit and plan. You have to say, okay, well, I planned for this, but that didn't happen. You let it go and you just change it. And it's like in class because you really never know what to expect. When asked about her philosophy of education, Miss Liu addressed the need for a balance between the academic and the social, as well as her belief in the idea of being a lifelong learner. French, I feel like, is not a class where you should not be having fun. You should be wanting to learn this language because you want to. You want to learn language, you want to be around the culture. I try to make it fun and interesting and we're not just sitting there, you know, writing worksheets with grammar. Um, I, there's a big emphasis in my class on communication because what's the reason people learn a language usually is to speak to other people. My students are great. Um, you know, after the initial feeling everybody out and everything, I think we've really settled in and we have great relationships. We can do a lot of different fun activities. Very, I feel like there's a very big emphasis overall on good learning habits and, and being studious, but also balancing that with like sports and other extracurricular activities. It seems to come from the students a lot more than the teachers. I feel like people should be constantly learning. If you're getting comfortable, go learn something new. You know, and I think that's one of the best parts about teaching is that you can be doing this job for 15 years, right? But every year is gonna be slightly different. And every year there's an opportunity to improve yourself as a teacher to help the students improve, right? And that's the same thing we have with music. You're gonna keep practicing. Someone's always gonna be better than you. So you gotta keep practicing learning techniques. Same thing with growing flowers, you know? You can change out the flowers if you wanna grow because you got bored of the other ones that they didn't do well. It's always a challenge and there's always something to learn. 
I picked the show Flight this year because it was an interesting show, I thought, with a really good theme to it. It had a lot of great sound effects, which is something that's becoming more popular in the marching band world, is having all kinds of audio to enhance your show and enhance the overall concept and theme of your show. Also, the music was a perfect fit for the level and the amount of students that we had. I looked at a lot of shows, as I always do, but Flight was the one that I kept coming back to. It ended up being a great show, and we were very successful with it. So this year, the band competed five times, and we took first place in three of the competitions. We took second place in one of the competitions, and in regional championships, we came in third place, and we won Best Music. I think... Overall, this season and this band had the largest growth curve out of any band I've ever been associated with here. We started, as all bands do, at a very basic level with the music and the drill and the performance. And for lack of a better word, and maybe pun intended, this year's band really took off. It really took flight. We ended with such a great score and took best music in the region, which is quite an accomplishment. Expectations for next year are high for me. We have a small group of seniors that are graduating this year, and we have a young band. And next year, all those students who are coming back and have gained the experience of this year are going to bring that with them to next year. And I'm really excited to see you know, the band, in my opinion, really take it to the next level next year.